Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope that you are doing amazing. Let me just adjust you. Like I wasn't just adjusting you for like a good solid five minutes and then I just did it again when I pressed record. Hansa, how are you? I have had a busy day today, but I had to get on here before I close my day to deliver the messages that cancer needs to know thank you to everybody who has liked shared commented and subscribed to the channel i very much appreciate you if you are new here welcome if you are returning i am very grateful to have you here let's take a look messages for the sign of cancer what does cancer need to be aware of at this time Please and thank you. We're going straight tarot. We're going to clarify. I may pull a couple of spreads to see what else you need to know. Any additional messages. But we're going to just flow with it and see what happens. I could be picking up on your energy, Cancer. Oh, okay. Seven of coins, the nine of coins and the wheel of fortune. Something that you've invested in that you're waiting on is going to pay off in a very big way. This could be to do with your finances, your money independence i'm hearing freelance let's see what you need to know that fully distracted me from my trailer thought and what i was saying let's just just go straight in let's just go straight for it messages for cancer spirit please guide and protect me as i channel the messages that cancer needs to know at this time i hope that you are feeling safe loved and protected as well Please switch the roles if you need to. I could be picking up on your energy or somebody around you's energy as well. There's too many. We've got the moon card. Someone's thinking about you at night. Sorry, I've got hair on my card for some reason. Four of Swords, yeah. With the Chariot card. This could be somebody who's thinking about coming towards you. They think about you. They lay in their beds thinking about you. Somebody's definitely having a lot of thoughts about you. This could be an Earth sign or a Cancer. Pisces as well. Hands man in the reverse. Tell me about the Four of Swords. The Queen of Cups. Two cards came out, the Three of Coins and the Queen of Swords. With the Four of Cups. Tell me about the King of Coins. The Death card. Why is the Death card here? With the Hermit. Why is the Death card here? King of Wands, that's what I thought. With the Six of Swords. Cancer, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio energy here as well. We've also got Earth, as I say. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be any sign, take it as it resonates. Somebody is in heavy contemplation mode over you right now. I do feel like this is a person who's known to you, somebody who you've had some sort of connection with. Um, somebody really thinks about how patient you were. There's something about you being very patient. This person could even feel like they procrastinated or they stalled you in some way. This was the person, this is how you're going to know who this is. This is the person who you could have extended a lot of care, time, passion, 
um, compassion even to this person, patience. There was waiting. There was a lot of waiting involved in a connection. This is somebody who could have put you on red, put you on the back burner, but they had you around, okay? You never quite knew where you stood with this individual, but this is the type of energy where you were kind of waiting and hoping that something would manifest, something would develop between you and a person, and it just kind of stayed in an in abyss. This person could have definitely have painted some sort of illusion that it was going to be like this or it was going to be that, like that or they were going to do something and it never happened. Somebody's really stuck on a love offer. You, Cancer, with that water energy, the Queen of Cups is here. Somebody definitely wants to come towards you, but there's an energy of them feeling like maybe you don't have time for them now, or maybe you've got better things to do with the Queen of Swords. They could feel like you're going to be very harsh mouthed with them. This could be somebody who is seeing you be very decisive, possibly sort a lot out at this time, maybe delve into some sort of new project that you've got going on here. There's definitely an energy of you working really hard and them feeling as though they are not a priority to you now it's almost like you've switched how they once knew you to be is no longer how they view you now and this has a lot this could be this could be an energy what they could be thinking is basically that you were once open to them emotionally now you're closed off emotionally and you're thinking more with your head towards them or they could be viewing you in a some sort of position of authority where you're having to be very decisive. You are having to kind of use a lot of logic with some sort of project that you're working on. Somebody sees you as a no-nonsense type of person that's getting things done at this time, whether that's by yourself or whether that's with a collaboration work even. Somebody's having an ego death. When you dealt with this person very ego driven very very ego driven the king of wands is right next to the death card this person is transforming their way of being at this time this is big big energy somebody's spending a lot of time contemplating and not only are they contemplating about you about the past about what could have been what could have transpired between you and them this is a person who's also contemplating their character how they showed up to you how they showed up to a connection with you. And what this person is realizing is that they were to, their chest was way too high where it came to you. With the King of Coins, this definitely could be somebody who is heavily money focused, stability focused right now. This could even be somebody who's married, okay? You could have even have been married to this person. But there's something about this person stepping out of their ego. They're not so much being of the 3D. They're grounding themselves somewhat. They're grounding themselves is what I see. person could have definitely left you hanging here but somebody's very intimidated to step to you and it could be because they feel like you've got your eyes on something else or you're working on something else here doing something else with someone else even tell me about the moon six of wands The strength in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's definitely letting down, letting down some sort of high horse. They're getting off the high horse. Could be a Leo. They're stepping down off the high horse. This is Leo energy, strength card and the six of wands. This is somebody who is stepping out of a space of being very ego driven, very 3D like and they're having some sort of emotional awakening where it comes to you with the emperor. Definitely could be a fire sign in Aries. This person could have experienced some sort of success more of recent times here. 
with the six of swords and it's kind of helping to shift them into a better energy here this is somebody who could be growing up maturing you know they're realizing that how i carried myself in the past yeah i was a little bit of a douchebag a little bit of an idiot why is the hanged man here the devil somebody obsesses over you This person literally lays in bed with nothing going on, thinking about you. No TV, with the Seven of Swords. Hold on a second. Let me just ask something. This person could be in a connection that is very emotionally distant and because of that it's like they're awakening to some sort of emotions that they failed to give in a past connection with somebody else i.e you take it as it resonates this person drifts off a lot something's at a standstill with this person they could even be leaving a relationship here with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. They could have tried to connect with somebody else. And it's almost like spirit is pushing this person to kind of step into their authenticity here. It, they've Whatever they've been doing, Cancer, has been alive. With the Page of Cups in the reverse, their heart hasn't been in it, whatever this is. Could be a Sagittarius, strong fire energy, Capricorn energy. If this person's been in another connection, and they could well be right now, they're feeling very distant from that connection. They could literally be on the same sofa in the same room as someone, but their mind is not in the room. It's like they're lying to themselves, and spirit is kind of pushing them, making them realise that your heart's not in this. What are you doing here? Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups in the reverse. One. Love is in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody was very false to you. This person could have definitely had a lot of options here. They definitely took your love for granted, took your care for granted. They left you on red while they were kind of. It's almost like this person had so much time for people who didn't give them as much patience, as much time, as much care, love as you. Failing to give the one that was most deserving all of that time, that attention back. They were out there distributing all of that to other people. The lovers in the reverse and the seven of cups in the reverse. But it wasn't successful. It was kind of like an empty victory here. Knight of Cups in the reverse. They're not happy. Chariot in the reverse. And this is about you. The Chariot is Cancer Energy with the Queen of Pentacles. They're not happy, especially if this person's committed with that King of Coins here. It's, it's not... It, uh. Why is the Queen of Swords here and the, queen, the Three of Coins? The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody feels like you've got better things to do now. Like, they wouldn't even be on your radar. You wouldn't give to them. That's basically what they, they're thinking. With the Knight of Wands, you'll see them as a waste of your time. Step into the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you, you, you don't see value in this person. And that's not even in a shady way. Whether this is a feminine, a masculine, whoever this is. It's like, when you were valuing this person, they didn't value you. And now they're going to be coming in. It's like... This could have already have even have happened for a lot of you, Cancer. Now they're going to be coming in. It's like, I don't even value what you're bringing to me now. I've got better things to do because they had better things to do. They definitely tried to make it seem as though 
you were the last thing that they they would even look at after everything else that they had going on on their plate. They definitely sidelined you. Wow. Tell me about this King of Wands and the Death card, this Ego Death. The Four of Pentacles, somebody's releasing their ego, their need to be... If this person was particularly showy, this person could be getting rid of things. They could be selling garments, selling things, especially if they wear designer. This person could be cleansing, which is not a bad thing. There's a huge transformation that this person is going through. And it has a lot to do with possibly money, but it also it, it's just like a way of being. I'm get, really getting a way of being. Five of Pentacles, yeah, because they feel very empty. Something could have also have happened where they've hit rock bottom here at one point and they are stabilising that now with the Page of Pentacles. They could have got a lifeline, a new opportunity. I definitely view this person as they, they seemingly look like they're doing well, this fire sign potentially here. But there's something that went on in this person's energy where you yeah, have the ace of pentacles. They definitely have had some sort of new start with their money or they're doing better financially. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Wands. Four of Swords in the reverse. Five of Cups. The world. This person's going through something massive here. Some sort of closing of a big cycle. They're realising that some sort of way that they've been coming across or some sort of way that they carry themselves is only creating a demise for them blockages for them and they're realizing that they can no longer with the knight of wands be in this energy of being fickle be in this energy of not taking life serious be in this energy of not taking people like yourself serious here somebody's getting serious about life this is somebody who is with the magician card who is trying to pull out all the stops to make some changes in a very big way here and it has a lot to do with how grounded they are how they show up how serious they are, you know, if this person, you know, and there's nothing wrong with wearing, wearing a trackie or wearing some sneakers, trainers, whatever you call them, we call them trainers here in the UK, but I know Americans call them sneakers, um, maybe this is a person who would dress more youthful and now they're putting on a suit or now they're wearing some, some chinos with, their sneakers instead of the tracksuit or you know this person could be changing their look this person could really be but I feel like it's multiple areas of their life how they speak how they carry themselves what they wear who they are around as well they're leaving a lot of things out in the cold here they're releasing this is a purging energy a lifestyle if this person was a player if this person was sleeping around in the past cheating an infidel whoever this is this is somebody who is pulling out all the stops to make some changes because they're realizing the they're realizing how energy works they're realizing that you literally get what you put out so if i don't change what i'm putting out i am not going to get quality back with the ten of pentacles in the reverse and the ten of cups in the reverse with the page of swords ah oh, the hangs one somebody is extremely stuck over an ending possibly even betraying you they're stuck because they betrayed you the full card in the reverse this person feels like they're just ridiculous when they think about the past to, to do with you Ten of Cups in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This person's pulling out all the stops to have something of substance. And I don't know who they're with, but it's not, there's no love there for the Nine of Cups. This could be a relationship that was based on, you know, fantasy, whimsical energy, lustful with the devil energy here. What's this person's intentions here for Cancer? Ace of Swords in the reverse. King of Cups. To stop lying about how they feel about you. With the Six of Cups in the reverse. This person caused a lot here in the past. When you think about this person, you don't get a good vibe. 
this is definitely an energy of you not wanting to revisit this ace of swords in the reverse and the king of cups in the reverse someone has been lying about their feelings to themselves to other people take it as it resonates all of the above that's their intention to stop lying about their feelings with the three of swords who's getting broke who who is getting broken here everything is fine in the reverse and the tower it's like whatever this person tried to swallow down the universe is showing it to this person tenfold somebody has really swallowed down some sort of feelings that they have for you this could be a person who wasn't ready for what you was offering in the past and now they're maturing, now they're kind of looking at things different, now they're changing up their look, they're possibly changing their surroundings, who they're around, they're looking at life a little bit different here, this person's realising what they're losing out on through being a certain character or a certain way, and this is a person who doesn't like what they saw or what they're seeing of themselves in the past. They're replaying events of the past. And it's not looking pretty for this person. And what's poignant about this. Is this person's realising that. I've actually been lying to myself. About how I feel. For a very long time. This person could like fast cars. They could like to dress nice. You know. But it's like it doesn't, it's not worth the paper that it's written on because they've been lying about how they feel to themselves. This is self-deception with the Eight of Pentacles and it's no longer working. Yeah, it's no longer working. Not listening to your intuition, whoever this is, if this is a cross watcher here. Spirit is pushing for that to end. There's a transformation because something isn't working for another person. This is somebody who's not been listening to their intuition and they're trying to drop this burden. This person could have definitely been non-committal, very disappointing in the past. I feel like you've lost hope. I feel like you have lost hope. The Queen of Cups is here again and the King of Pentacles. You was giving this person patience and this person was being gluttonous. False promises with the King of Cups in the reverse. This is a taker, or they were in the past. They took and lapped up every little bit of whatever it was that you was offering in that Queen of Cups energy, that cup there. But with the King of Pentacles, this is somebody who is a taker, or they were. Very selfish, very disingenuous. This could be somebody who is just out for what they wanted to gain in the past. And this is somebody who's realising, well, I've got all of this stuff now, but what have I actually gained? All I've been doing is lying to myself and those around me. And there's this person who is here on some sort of distant vibe here in a connection where they're obsessing over what they decided to overlook. Where do you stand with this person? Justice. Page of Cups. The Empress. Some of you have children. You could be expecting. With the Page of Coins. Yeah, you, it could be twins. Nine of Wands, yeah, you're going to be very tired. Some of you could be pregnant with twins. Page of Coins, Page of Cups, the Empress, right in the middle with the Justice card. Some of you could be giving birth to twins or you have two children or you have recently given birth to two children. Be careful of pregnancy. Justice. Five of Cups. You want this person to pay for what they did. Page of Swords. It's like you're watching and waiting for somebody to meet their demise with the Knight of Cups. 
yeah somebody who you really tried to be nice to you put your best foot forward with this person with the seven of wands and this person gave you nothing but their back cold shoulder energy with the seven of swords and lied to you deceived you somehow you feel like this person lied to you disappointed you in a very big way you could spy on this person ten of wands you've released them but you spy on them with the king of cups yeah this person who's now awakening to their feelings i'm telling you now they see you as some sort of counterpart with the ten of cups is this with someone else is this with someone else Six of Wands. yeah For some of you have even moved on to a new connection some of you could be pregnant in a new connection you could even be married or you're, it's heading towards engagement or some sort of celebration. There's definitely an energy of twins here. You see how in this, I'm clarifying this Empress, the page of coins, the two of coins comes out. And in this depiction, there's a person, but the pentacles are two, two children. There's one who's got like bear-like legs, and then the other baby has got the bear top. Look at this card. Some of you could definitely have two children or you're expecting twins. This may not even be happening yet, okay? You could be finding out. Somebody here could be pregnant with the Ace of Coins, yeah. This is a blessing. Yeah, I feel like you've moved on. Cancer. That is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Cancer. Sending you love and light. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.